What is going on trading world? Uh, another video. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into emotions. We're going to be looking at two main emotions. We're going to learn how to identify them um, and what we can do, like what kind of plan in place can we put where we can kind of control these emotions and not let these emotions control us. Okay. Um, we just did a webinar, a uh, phase two webinar today for all the students that are in my mentorship. And one of the things that I um, brought up on the zoom call, if you were there, you would know, uh, was that I think that there's three things that you need to be really successful in trading. Um, and I really, really worked at these three things hard because for me, there was no other choice, right? Like this is what I had to do. I had to make it work. So the three things for me were, and I think it's, it's with any trader that's successful is number one, you have to have a good strategy that works. It should be a strategy that works with your personality, that fits with your personality. You know the strategy in and out um, and you know, you should know all the char characteristics to the strategy. Okay. Number two, your risk management has to be Michael Jordan level. All right. There's nothing more important than risk management. Um, I'm going to be doing a video later on, um, you know, later on in about a week or two on that. And the third thing, which was like the final piece that really tied everything in for me and, you know, really took me from like a break even trader to like uh, being able to withdraw money. You know, that that's the real thing to be able to withdraw money from these markets. Um, I think the last piece for me was psychology and really identifying some of the emotions that were, you know, really taking a, a bad toll on my trading, the emotions that were causing me to lose money, the emotions that were, you know, causing me to lose my profits when I had already made them. Um, so in this video, we're going to talk talk about how to identify those emotions and what can we do? Well, like what can we actively do today um, to, you know, identify those emotions and then remove them from our trading. Okay. Remove them. What things can we actually do? So uh, with emotions, you're really only going to feel them if you're ever trading a live account. Okay. So that's why even with my students, are, I'm really pushing everyone to, um, instead of back test forward test, um, you know, if you can have a $10 account, a $50 account, a hundred dollar account, and you know, treat that hundred dollar account, like a hundred thousand dollar account. When you can manage a hundred dollar account, you can manage a hundred thousand dollar account okay you need to be able to practice risk management on that hundred dollar account you need to be able to control your emotions on that hundred dollar amount account um and uh, if anybody's looking for a broker recommendation which a lot of the students were asking for i am currently with handco trade i moved all my personal funds there that is uh, the broker that i'm going to use to really run up my personal account in the coming year um three reasons why i really like them number one they have extremely fast service uh with me i'm the type of person uh especially with prof firms and brokers i need to get an answer right away i need to know what's happening with my money number two real important important thing for me was uh, I need very fast withdrawals. Okay. I need to be able to, if I make, cause look for me, uh, and we're going to talk about this later. If I make money uh, with personal accounts, I want to be able to withdraw it right away. I don't want to wait till Friday. Um, sometimes I like to get the money out of there just so, you know, I don't go into, and we'll talk about it later. You know, you start losing money when you start over trading. So a uh, hand could trade. I love them. Uh, lightning fast service, quick withdrawals, and I'm able to, you know, deposit money quickly with crypto. Um, so please check them out. The link will be in the description below back to the video. So this is something that I've been mentioning over and over, um, you know, uh, I, I, I mentioned it to my friends. I mentioned it to some of the students, you know, you can perfect your strategy. You need to perfect your risk management. You can perfect your risk management, but if your psychology is not there, trust me, man, you're not going to, you're not, you're going to have a real struggle with this, uh, with this trading thing. So, you know, there's going to be more videos that I'm going to post where we're going to talk about different things in this video. We're just going to keep it nice and short. We're going to talk about two main emotions and how I deal with them. And I think me really identifying these two emotions this year played a big role in me really going from, you know, making small, you know, small withdrawals to making much bigger withdrawals as the year has rolled, um, you know, further down. So we're going to start with emotion one. We're going to talk about how we can tackle that emotion. And then we're going to talk about emotion two and how we can tackle that emotion. I'm not going to be showing anything on the computer. Um, this is just going to be a sitting and talking video. So please bear with me, but I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to take something away from this. If you already know this uh, and you know, you're a good trader, then, uh, you know, by any means, please skip over the video. Okay. Um, I just feel like a lot of new traders don't uh, know this or they're not aware of it. So the first thing that you need to be aware of, and this is something I kind of slowly found out like sometime last year was don't trade if you're feeling upset okay if you just have you know something is not right okay you're upset you're angry you're mad something's going on in your personal life you just had a fight with your partner um you know you don't feel 100% there you know something's upsetting you uh when you have these emotions you're not thinking clearly and uh, it can make you have some negative uh, effects on your trading right you show up to trade in the morning you need to make sure like you need to ask yourself how do i feel today you know, am I feeling all right? Did I get all like, you know, sometimes when I don't sleep well, I don't feel like I'm all there. It's just weird. It's weird with me. I, I, if I don't get eight hours of sleep, I don't feel like I'm there. And so if I'm a little angry about something or upset about something, sometimes when I'm even too hungry, it's strange. I know, but, um, you know what I mean? Like I gotta just watch myself emotionally, like mentally, like, am I all right? Because I need to be a hundred percent when I'm on these charts. It's, it's not a game for me anymore. This is, this 
is what I do for a living. So, um, you know, being 100% on the charts is super important. So uh, really identify, you know, are you upset at anything? Is there something that's bothering you? Is there something that's on your mind? You know, is there something that you can do to when you come in the morning um, to fix those issues? And if you are feeling some of those issues and you don't feel, you know, yourself or if there's any personal issues going on in your life, don't trade that day, man. Just leave it. Leave it. If you're not feeling it that week, leave that week alone. Okay, you're going to have plenty of opportunity to make money. The less times you spend in this market, uh, you know, the less money you're going to lose. Let's be honest. I'm starting to take less and less less trades as I, you know, mature in my trading career. I'm just trying to scale it back now. You know, I used to take like 100 trades a week. Now I'm trying to take three, four, five max. That's it. So the question is like, what can you actively do today to number one, be aware of these emotions? And what can you do if you're not aware of them, right? Uh, to be aware of them, all right, obviously, if you have something going on, don't trade. Simple. Make that rule. I used to have it right up on my um, on my wall on a whiteboard, my risk management rules. And I would, you know, if I'm feeling some type of way, I, I can't trade that day. I'm not doing it. Okay. But a great way, great tip. Okay, great tip. Um, is journaling. Everybody knows what a journal is. You know, I'm sure at some point in your life, you might have had to write one. Whatever. Um, I have this like little gratitude journal. Just got it from Amazon. It doesn't have to be a gratitude journal. It can just be any journal. But like this has like little sections in here where I, you know, kind of put down my thoughts, the date. So every morning when I come uh, to, for the New York session is what I trade. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just open this up and... Uh, majority of the time I don't have too many issues going on I'll just write you know what I'm grateful for in this life you know um, you know health you know parents whatever family um, and if I've got some issues going on you know I can really put them down on this book and just get, you know get them out of my mind and declutter my mind uh, and sometimes it'll help me identify some issues that are going on in my life um, that maybe I'm not you know consciously aware of so uh, if you can get into the habit of in the morning whenever you're trading write some thoughts down on a piece of paper you know how do you feel what's going on you know um, I think that can help a lot with you starting to identify some of your emotions and really decluttering your mind um it really helps me man to, to put things that i'm grateful for like my, i'm always filling it out if i have issues you know i'm putting them down um and it really really it really does go a long way that was tip number one you know identifying negative bad emotions all right when am i upset when am i upset when am i feeling bad you know when am i not 100 percent there how do i feel today writing them down and then taking action to not trade the days that you are feeling those negative emotions all right now negative emotions are not the only emotions that affect our trading. Um, this is something, you know, uh, I'm going to be talking a lot about in my mentorship um, in phase six. Uh, but one of the emotions that, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of, which really has affected me more than um, the upsetting and the bad emotions, the one that messes me up a lot um, is the happy emotion. When I'm happy, when I'm euphoric, when I win a trade, I smash these charts or, you know, it's Monday, Tuesday and I want, you know, I get a really good trade. That can be very harmful. Stay away from that, okay? If you win a trade, you're, you should be done for the day. You should close your laptop, computer, go do something else, you know what I'm saying? There's other things to do. There's no reason to go back in, okay? I know you've been there where you want to trade and then you turned a winning day into a fucking losing day, okay? Why do we do that? It doesn't make sense, right? But because we're just humans and it's just emotions, you know, the greed comes in, your your brain is like blasted with dopamine. You just want to go back in and you want to make more money. Um, you know, had I known, had I been able to work at these emotions much better this year, I would have made probably double of what I made. Um, but I am aware of them now and I try my best to not do this. So when I do win a trade, I'm out, man. I'm done for the day. I'm done for the day. If I win a trade early on in, in my trading day, I'll take a two hour break. I'll step away from the computer, even if I have other setups going on, just to let that, like, let my brain process what just happened, calm down, relax, go for a walk. You know, let the psychology in your brain reset. At least 30 minutes to two hours is the minimum. Um, I've actually gotten it down to where if I win a trade today, I'm not even looking at the charts till uh, the Asian session tonight, or uh, I may not even trade tomorrow. Okay, if I, I'm currently in a trade right now, um, if I win this trade tonight, I'm not gonna trade tomorrow. There's no reason, there's no reason for me to just continuously be going going back into the markets. So how can we tackle this issue, right? This, tack, uh, this issue of euphoria, feeling too good and losing all your money. Um, one of the suggestions that I can make is number one, write down a rule in place that if you win one trade or a certain amount of trade, you're gonna be out of the markets. You're done for that day, it's game over for you, okay? Um, I'm putting together a little bit of a, a risk management slash psychology plan for um, some of the students when they're going to be doing funding in January. And part of that plan is going to be if you win a trade on your challenge uh, on your first day, second day, whenever, you're done. It's game over. You have 30 days to finish the challenge. Why would you try, you know, uh, going crazy in three, four days and trying to finish it like that? There's no reason to. Um, it's better to just take your time. You know what I'm saying? Win one trade, give it a break, come back the next day, come back the next day. Because when you chop it up like that and you space things out, uh, it'll mess with your psychology a little bit less. It'll prevent you from blowing accounts, revenge trading, 
being, um, you know, really going down that roller coaster of just uh, like crazy emotions going off. So uh, those are the two things that I wanted to talk about today in this emotions video. I'm going to be releasing, you know, a lot more videos on psychology and, you know, uh, how to control these issues. But yeah, just recapping two of today's emotions, you know, bad emotions, how to control them, good emotions, how to control them, all emotions we have to be aware of as traders. Um, and yeah, if you entered the giveaway from UK Forex traders, uh, it's going to be tomorrow on my IG live. So please follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description below. And we're going to be, you know, we're going to be picking the random winner tomorrow. Also, if you enjoy content, also, if you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be releasing a lot of psychology, emotions and risk management videos coming up. And with that, have a good day.